now it's recording. So everybody's running around like crazy. Today was a World Health Day or something like that in the office. And I've just got the okay from the office manager that all of the healthy stuff that is still available is free to take home. Free shopping at Red Hat, yay! Bio. Is this bio? Alles bio. Echt? Ja. Bye bye. One problem solved today. My drone is now insured. It's a little bit dark outside now, but from tomorrow on, I will bring back the drone footage and uh, I'm going to top it off till the end of the week. Wait for the surprise. You'll love it. And I also went to the government website and I found this uh, neat little infographic what is allowed and what is not allowed when flying a drone in Germany. Here's some th simple things to think about. First, all drones need to have insurance. Get that stuff organized. All the drones above 250 grams need to have in the future some kind of sign a fireproof sign that gives the name and the address of the owner of the drone. All the drones up until five kilogram are free to fly in the areas where flying is allowed. You're not allowed to fly over private property, at least not without the explicit permission of the owner of that property. You are allowed to fly over fields and etc. You have to take care of no-fly zones, uh, so check the maps and etc. to find out if you're near a no-fly zone. You're not allowed to fly over uh, people, uh, you're not allowed to fly over government buildings or industrial complexes, all of this uh, typical stuff. It's all in this nice infographic. When you're a drone flyer in Germany, get used to these regulations, understand them and follow them because uh, violating uh, these laws can become very expensive and very dangerous. Remember, safety comes always first.